My name is Hulud, and many people tell me that I look familiar. My friend from Turkey said I looked like her sister. Another from Brazil said I looked like her cousin. Even lately, someone from Hong Kong said that I looked like her husband. <laughs> I received a letter from an admirer. I'm so happy I have to share this information. He said in the letter, you look so beautiful, like the queen of England. <laughs> of all the queens in the world, he picks up a 91-year-old woman. Well, I'm from Jordan, and you know what they say about Jordanians? We are dead serious. You know why? Because we have a dead sea in our country. Our national dish is called mensaf, which means explosion. <laughs> and if you eat too much of it, believe me, you will see that that's true. <laughs> when I was in Jordan, I volunteered in a village, a remote village called Khanzira. That means female pig. I don't know what kind of shisha they were smoking when they came up with this name. They really even don't have pigs there. But I guess this is a global trend. You know, Greenland being called Greenland without having green. Iceland doesn't have ice. Manila doesn't have men. I have a very nice family, and we live in a very nice haunted house. During the day, everything is normal, everything is quiet, but when it gets dark, you only hear screams. Kill him! Kill him! Call him, you son of a bitch, kill him! That's my dad, watching wrestling. <laughs> well, I don't know why they say Arabs are not friendly. Come on, who else but Arabs would congratulate you when you take a shower? <laughs> you took a shower? Wallah! Naiman! Congratulations! So happy for you. <laughs> and I keep hearing all these stories about Arabs, like the story I heard lately about Egyptian women killing their husbands, cutting them into pieces, putting them in plastic bags. Oh my God, that's horrendous. I'm an Arab woman, I would never do such a thing. I would just poison him. <laughs> No less mess, less cleaning. Living here in the UAE, I noticed that many non-Arabs really believe that all Arabs are the same. And I beg to differ here. Let me give you examples. Any Lebanese here? The cute Arabs, right? I say good morning to a Lebanese, he'd reply, Bonjour, Habibi. <laughs> Bonjour, my love, my life, my heart, my soul, my spirit, my eyes, my kidney, my liver. <laughs> and our names are too rigid for them, so they just change them. Khulud becomes Coco. <laughs> Muhammad becomes Moody. Ahlam becomes Tagaga. <laughs> Jordanians are different. If I say good morning to a Jordanian, he'd reply, Why are you smiling, huh? <laughs> Moroccans. Moroccans are different. Any Moroccans here? No? So we can talk about them? <laughs> If I say good morning to a Moroccan, how are you? He'd reply, Je suis bien, mon chéri. Et toi, ça va? That's French, by the way. 
you need to take a French course to speak Arabic to a Moroccan. <laughs> and if you complain, <laughs> thank you. And if you complain that you do not speak French, they get offended. Which I think would be a little bit of Arabic. Go back to French, please. Egyptians are different. Any Egyptians here? Okay. <laughs> Promise me you won't wait me outside. <laughs> okay. If I say good morning to an Egyptian, he'd reply, Good morning to you. The morning of flowers, the morning of light, the morning of kunafa. <laughs> Where are you from? I say I'm from Jordan. Gordinian? <laughs> I swear, wallahi, the best of the best people. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm originally Palestinian. Palestinian? I swear. Wallahi. The best of the best people. <laughs> Thank you, but I lived all my life in the UAE. Emirat. Wallahi. I swear. The best of the best people. You know, you are cute. Get kuta. You are but buta, like a butt. What? But everybody likes to eat the butt. What's wrong with you? The butt, the beard, the beard that says quack quack. What do they call it in English? What do they call it? Ah, you mean the duck. Yes, the dick. <laughs> okay, Yemenis, enough with Egyptians. Yemenis, any Yemenis here? Okay, Yemenis are different. So if I say good morning to a Yemeni, he'd reply, are you married? <laughs> if I say, no, you have man? If I say no, Marry me. <laughs> if I say, but you are already married, he'd reply, listen, listen. God created the man's heart with four champers. <laughs> Thank you. That's enough. <laughs>